Cheers. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Welcome to another episode of uh, Monday Oddity Day, the day that we do liquors that are not whiskey, like vodka and rum and tequila, weird weird liquors. I think we've done like limoncello and stuff like that. So that's what we do on Mondays. Today we're looking at something really unique, and I've really been excited to do this because it's been on the shelf for a while, and I kind of like what this distillery's doing. And it's also kind of skirting the edge because this is actually kind of a whiskey. This is an Irish poteen. You know what poteen is? Well, I'm supposed to say no, but I already... <laughs> yeah, we've already filmed this one. So Irish poteen. This is a 100% potato um, distilled liquor. It comes in at 80 proof. 80 proof. And it's... Really inexpensive, I think. Uh, normal 750. This is only 375. A 750 is about 30 bucks, uh, and you can find that at a couple places in uh, the Austin, San Antonio, Texas area. Otherwise, you have to go to the distillery, which is just west of Austin. It's Flanagan's Distillery. Flanagan's. Um, if you look back in some of our previous episodes, we've done a couple uh, of Flanagan's uh, whiskeys. And it's a great little tiny town out in the middle of nowhere. Um, basically one stop light type of place. And you gotta be driving on a state highway to go through it. Yes. It's not on the interstate. And uh, Cody and I happened to stumble on it and we went into it and had a, a really good time. Uh, it wasn't too busy, but uh, we introduced ourselves to the gentleman that came up to seat us, asked if we could sit at the bar, because they had some sort of group thing going on. And we told them that we we're from Bourbon and Booze, and that we we're just on the hunt for whiskeys for our show. And so he went and got the owner, and the owner was busy, but dropped everything and came and took care of us for the next hour. It was really cool. Uh, gave us a lot of uh, insight into his business. Um, we got to try all of their different stuff. And he's a true Irishman for Irish protein, Mr. Flanagan. I assume that's his name. Uh, and he gave us a really great <clears throat> presentation, lots of Irish jokes. It's kind of a New Yorker Irishman almost. <laughs> lots of jokes. So if you ever get a chance, stop at Flanagan's. Uh, it's just west of Blanco. Not sure if I actually remember where it's at. Oh, Bertram, Bertram, Texas, just west of uh, Austin. So this, I will say, is the only poteen I've ever really had. Yeah, I don't think I've ever had really a true potato distilled. Because that's the thing, Russian vodka is kind of like supposed to be like potato. Right. And that's actually a misnomer, a myth. Yeah. It was ages and ages ago, but I think <clears throat> there's only like one or two vodkas that are made with potato anymore. I think Stolinsky still has a vodka potato. And then I'm not sure who the other one is. I knew at one time. Most yeah. of them are made out of wheat. Yeah, they're grain alcohols basically. Yeah. Not... Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the creature. No age statement, obviously. It's pretty clear. Uh, it's got a very unique kind of sweet but earthy aroma to it i'm not almost getting nothing mm, i'm getting i mean i put it up to my nose and i can it, smell that there's something <laughs> there but it's 80 proof but i'm getting a little medicinal little sweetness kind of i want to say vanilla but it's not really Yeah, maybe a little vanilla to it. A little flowery, I don't know. I'm not really good yeah, with I just flowery think of the like flower kinda like well, I'm not blossomy. Think, yeah, kinda. yeah. Like a honeysuckle or something. But if you were to give this to me and have me smell it, I would almost say it wasn't alcohol. Oh no. I, I don't, don't I don't see that. No, I'm not getting the alcohol. Mm. I mean, now that I've been doing it for like several mm. times, I so it's not it. not very alcohol on the palate. 
a little bit of sweetness that's not vanilla. So no, it's kind of like a um, almost a honey, but not quite. It's I want to almost say like a very diluted refined sugar water. Right. With a kick. <laughs> yeah. It is got an earthy tone to me. I don't know. I can't really equate this to a potato, but it's it's got an earthy I don't know. Well, almost but, medicinal, but not in a bad way. I really like it. Well, potatoes are really starchy, so mm -hmm. that's what I mean, starch is a lot of yes. converts to sugar. The water doesn't do much on the aroma, but it brings out more of that earthy, medicinal. Uh, it's it's almost got like an anise to it, but not quite. No, it does, I don't see the. It's it's got that that bite that that licorice bite, but it's not licorice. Mm-hmm. I could kind of see that. It's really good. I don't know how you're supposed to drink it, though. Um, is it supposed to be a mixer? Is it supposed to be something just done like we're doing now? I don't know. It's not bad. It's really good, actually. Um, the unique factor would make me want to get it. In fact, I'd kind of like to get a 750. I would say this could be dangerous. Yeah. Because it's like... There's... It's so mellow and smooth, and you could just and I'd, start drinking this and not realize how much you drank. I really don't have a comparison because this is our first poteen. I like to compare it to some other Irish poteen, not American poteen. Because I think Flanagan's has a very unique factor to what they do. Uh, we... They, they have a grappa, and Cody and I mentioned that no, because we've had grappa before that we just didn't like. And he's like, well, you got to try this, because if you bought the grappa in Italy, because we were telling him we're in Italy, um, and it was inexpensive, it's probably really cheap and bad. Not good. And we're like, probably. <laughs> and so uh, he gave us his grappa, and it was great. And since then, I've had grappa. I've been back to Italy, and we've had grappa before again. And this time I was a little bit more discerning and didn't get the cheap stuff. I haven't brought, bought any more, but um, while I was there, and it was comparable. So I'd like to try Irish poteen and compare it. So I guess that's a trip I need to make when the worldwide pandemic is over. I say if you're in Flanagan's region there west of um, Austin, you definitely need to stop by. It's a great little tiny hole in the wall bar that's in like a probably a 1850s, 60s <laughs> storefront. It's pretty cool. Um, he's got a lot of different whiskeys that are great. Of course, I said the grappa. Um, and try the poteen. And if you get a chance to see Mr. Flanagan himself, uh, tell him we sent you and maybe he'll lay some jokes on you because he <laughs> had some good ones. He had some really good ones. Um, even drew my wife in. She was off chit chatting with other people we we're with but she came over because the jokes were pretty good so um i say grappa is a good or not grappa um this protein is pretty good if you get a chance to get it go ahead and pick it up um i like it i like it too make sure you hit the like and subscribe check out instagram facebook twitter and merchandise and we'll see you next monday for another oddity Bye. Bye.